watch you while you sleep Holding you Lost inside Every breath you breathe I don't want to live a day without you I just want to be the one that makes you Okay, this weekend I think I'm going to bite the bullet, get that haircut. Yep, I think I've put it off long enough. <laughs> it's starting to interfere with my vision. I'm like, <laughs> Anyway, thank you, our godless world, for taking the initiative that you did and putting up that wonderful video last night, waking me up, and I think from the reactions I've read, you woke up a lot of other people too. You know, it's right, you're right. These people feed off the attention. And, uh, so I'm putting the brakes on right now. I'm not, this is, this is, I'm not even mentioning their names. I'm just mentioning this video that our godless world put up and the people he described in that video. And I know that the negativity has been you know, in the red zone on my channel because I've been focusing on people, you know, the biggest lesson I've learned in my life is you cannot change people. You cannot, you cannot make people the way you want them to be. People will be what they are until they themselves decide to change and no matter, no amount of hammering on their heads <laughs> will change them, you know. Point, point being, I mean, I'm a great example. <laughs> People have been hammering on my, heads for the, on my head for the last week to try to show me that I'm a hypocrite and I have not budged from my stance that no, I don't think I am. See? And until I figure out that I am, <laughs> I, will, I will not be able to see that I am. And personally, side note, I don't think I'm a hypocrite. I think that you f need to fight fire with fire. If people are persecuting a, minor a minority group, I believe the minority group has the right to fight back. I don't see that as being a hypocrite. I see that as defending yourself, standing up for yourself, you know, not letting them walk all over you. The truth should be out there. You know, if only their opinions were ever out there the nice normal person coming along reading their videos or watching their videos they're going to think that that's true if there's nothing else for them to watch except these guys and their opinion you know a, a new Christian or whatever coming along would really that's what atheists are that's what atheism is so I think it's it's important that we put videos out to <clears throat> excuse me to instruct and contradict and point out no <laughs> That isn't, and you know, if you want to know what atheism, atheism is, or how atheists feel, or what atheists believe, the best thing to do is to just watch videos put up by atheists about atheism, because they would know the best what, what it is to be an atheist, or what it means to be an atheist. You know, going to apologetics channels, or whatever, who are talking about what atheism is, uh, probably not a good way to find out what it really is because you know that they have a, a thing against atheism. Atheism is the enemy for them. They, they want to squash it out. They want the whole world to think just like them and be just like them. So, but people like car wrecks, you know, the whole slow down to watch to see the accident thing on the freeway. Well, it seems to me that the fighting back and forth that has been going on, and I've been a huge part of that too, or maybe not huge. I don't want to think too much of myself here. Uh, I've been a small part of that. Um, I think the negativity draws people. People 
like to see the drama, you know, the drama. What what evil, nasty thing has this person said about this person? Ooh, wow, score. Let's go over to the other person's channel and see what they're re how they respond, you know. It's like a soap opera, you know, the drama, the stay tuned for, you know, will, will, DDD, respond to this. And how will she, how will she respond or whatever. You know, stay tuned for coming attractions. I noticed that my subscriber count has gone up since this whole thing, you know, with, with, the, well, from whatever, that I'm not going to be doing anymore. My subscriber count has gone up, which I am totally happy about because I'm like, last time I checked, I'm seven away from 500. But at the same time, I don't want to keep feeding the monster. You know, if I lose subscribers because I'm not poking fun or persecuting or ridiculing somebody that I think is spreading a lie or just, yeah, spreading a lie. And I, and I, and I, you know, if I keep doing that, maybe I'll, I'll keep the people that are into the drama. But if I stop doing that, maybe I'll lose some people, but it's like, what do I want my channel to be? I want my channel to be a reflection of me. And I the negativity, if you keep it up, what happens is it is like the first step to <laughs> feeling bad all the time because they, you know, anger is a bad feeling. Feeling bad all the time is kind of the beginning of having depression. So I don't want to feel bad all the time. I come to YouTube, this is kind of like self-therapy to me. It's a way for me to find myself and express myself and, and, and describe what I feel passionate about. And that's what it's supposed to be about. And what other people think should be totally tr whatever. Who cares, you know? This is my little place. This is my little world. This is what I think. And if other people don't agree, that's, their, that's just fine, you know? And I go out and check out other videos because I, I still want to keep learning. I still want to... I'm, I'm a baby atheist you know I want to keep learning about about what really is true what what you know how how history really is and what is you know just see as much reality as I can so that's what I'm going to try very hard to do now on my channel I'm just going to go back to what I was doing before and try to not focus on any one particular person who um, generates I mean I'm not talking about like what's going on in the media or some some person in the media does something that I really strongly d disagree with I'm gonna put a video up like I did with Jesse Lee Peterson I'm gonna put a video up about that but I'm talking about people on YouTube that you cannot reason with you can I mean they're just not gonna they're not gonna hear you people you know you can't change people you cannot you can't make people change by by arguing with them or trying to you know force them to see a different way of, of looking at the world you cannot do that I've learned that the hard way people people come to whatever to understand or see see things differently in their own good time and at their own right time the time isn't right for them they have their own road to take and they have their own lessons ahead that when one day they have maybe a lesson will happen for them and they'll They'll realize, you know, but you can't force that on somebody. So that's all I wanted to say. I am going to, from now on, not respond to these people in any way, shape, or form. And as far as I'm concerned, that part of YouTube no longer exists. So, big load off my shoulders. It was, it was really starting to get me down. <laughs> So I'm off to work. I really have to go. Thank you for watching. Bye.